everybody. We're back here with Maggie Haberman from the New York Times and author of the new book, <laughs> Confidence Man. I, I, I know you're, you're no prophet. You're a journalist. I'm not asking you to oraculate, but do you think that he's going to run in 2024? I think he has backed himself into a corner where he has to. I think that... What, what corner? The corner is he wants attention, he wants to fundraise, and he's under investigation. And he wants to be able to say the investigations are witch hunts, and he would love to have the constitutional armor the presidency affords him back. So I don't think his heart is particularly in it. He doesn't seem to be enjoying himself with politics the way he once did. Uh, now, maybe that will come again, but I do think at the moment, I think he will run. It doesn't mean he will stay in the whole time, but I do think he will announce a candidacy. You, in, in, your, in your reporting in here, you say that there's a moment where he sort of admits that he took documents he shouldn't have from the White House. Can you, you can recount that moment for us? It was a strange and very vague comment. I asked him on a lark if he had taken documents from the White House. Memento. You said documents, not like... No, I said memento documents. Okay. That, was the, that was the quote. Because he would wave around the correspondence from Kim Jong-un when he was in the Oval sure, Office. beautiful letters. Beautiful letters, you know, to... Yeah. to Love letters. Visitor, reporters, he would, he would yeah. literally do this. And yeah. so, uh, so I asked him, did you take anything? And he said, nothing of great urgency, no. You know, we're, I had no way of knowing that that wasn't the case at the time. Then he volunteered something about the letters, the KJU letters, and said something like, we have these great letters. And I said, oh, you took those with you? And registering my surprise, he kept talking, like he didn't want to answer the question. And I said, ha, huh, or wow, or something. And he registered my surprise and said, oh, no, no, th those are in the archives. But, you know, we, we have great things. They weren't in the archives. We they were found. learned later. They yeah. were right, and and it turned out the archives had been trying to get them back. And, and huge kudos to the Washington Post for for their reporting on this. Uh, and kudos it, to the archives. And Here's for librarians. The librarians who really have been a, a thorn in his side uh, for for the last 18 months, trying to get government property back that doesn't belong to him. Uh, but on a he, certain level, we all wish we were librarians, <laughs> so we could just go. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, thank you so much for being here. Confidence Man is available now. It's Maggie Haberman, everybody. We'll be right back with a special cartoon report from Tuning Out the News. Stick around. <laughs>